right now at six. My husband is out here fighting for our country. A soldier's widow speaking out with a message for the president. He risked his life for our country. Why can't you remember his name? And demanding answers as the Pentagon releases new information. Once we found out that Sergeant Johnson was missing, we brought the full weight of the U.S. government to bear to try to recover his body. Team coverage on the death of South Florida hero, LaDavid Johnson. Sergeant Johnson's widow giving an emotional interview backing up Congresswoman Farika Wilson's account of President Trump's condolence call. Meanwhile, the Pentagon releasing new details today on the mission that killed Johnson and three others. Our Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo standing by at the White House now. And also, we begin with Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez in the newsroom. And Maisha Johnson speaking out, saying she needs to know exactly what happened to her husband. This has certainly been a difficult few weeks for the family. And she says the president's phone call didn't help. Maisha Johnson, the pregnant widow of fallen Army Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, opens up for the first time exclusively on Channel 10 about her husband's death, about the investigation, and that controversial condolence call from President Trump. The president said that he knew what he signed up for, but it hurts anyways. And I was, it made me cry because I was very angry at the, the tone of his voice and how he said it. Like he, he, he couldn't remember my husband's name. That call was on speakerphone. Among those listening, close family friend, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, who the president claims lied about the call. What she said was 100% correct. Johnson is one of four soldiers killed while serving in Niger. What we know is there was an ambush. Her husband was at first missing. Maisha says she still doesn't know how exactly he died. I want to know why it took them 48 hours to find my husband. Why couldn't I see my husband? I know my husband's body from head to toe, and they won't let me see anything. I don't know what's in that box. It could be empty for all I know. Thousands first came to know Sergeant Johnson on social media, going viral as Wheelie King 305. Many remembering him now as a hometown hero. Maisha working to make sure her unborn daughter knows that. And their daughter is due in January, by the way. Maisha says she will not rest until she gets answers. Okay, Andrew, thanks a lot. And now to Washington, where President Trump responded to LaDeva Johnson's widow. And the Pentagon released new de uh, details, rather, about his death. Let's go right to D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo at the White House with more. Ross. Well, Kelvin, just moments after that widow spoke, the president sending out a tweet basically calling the widow of that fallen soldier a liar. Take a look at what the president wrote. He said, quote, I have a very respectful conversation with the widow of Sergeant LaDavid Johnson and spoke his name from beginning without hesitation. It's been nine hours since then, and the president has said little else. Mr. President, any comment to Maisha Johnson? Mr. President, do you owe Misha Johnson or Frederica Wilson an apology, sir? Meanwhile, General Dunford at the Pentagon just a little while ago briefing the media about what is now known about what happened in Niger with Sergeant Johnson and three others who were killed. Take a listen. Mid-morning on October 4th, the patrol began to take fire as they were returning to their operating base. Approximately one hour after taking fire, the team requested support. And within minutes, a remotely piloted aircraft arrived overhead. Within an hour, French Mirage jets arrived on station. And then later that afternoon, French attack helicopters arrived on station. Well, interestingly enough, uh, General Dunford basically said that the president was notified when this all first started. That was on October 4th. The White House knew about Sergeant Johnson that he was at least missing by 9 p.m. our time. The president, of course, not speaking uh, for some 12 days later. Calvin and Lori. Okay, our Ross Palumbo at the White House. Ross, thanks a lot.